All right, I'm back. This is the field thistle site. This looks like it was an old log landing. You can see there's like hills in here. But I just, I wanted to do this site because there's so much field thistle in here. <clears throat> but the part that's really driving me crazy is that plant, that one right there, it has got to be 15 or 20 feet tall. I'm going to try to stand next to it. If I can get up there. It definitely is an old slash pile from logging. So I'm standing right at the bottom of this thing. I'm six foot five. That has got to be 12 to 15 feet tall. And I'm up on top of this pile and look at all these butterflies on this field thistle. I'm gonna go over there. There's even more over there. Oh. Just look at all the activity on here. They are going nuts. This is the one I really wanted to show everybody. I don't know if I can get all the way back here, but... Yeah, some of them left, but there must have been half a dozen but oh, there goes a couple butterflies. There must have been half a dozen butterflies on here. And dozens and dozens of bees. Now some of them have left and you can still see a few. So cool. So cool. But there's the road. Just so lucky I just decided to stop in here and knock on this guy's door. And a uh, super nice guy. And if you didn't catch the whole background, watch the previous video, which is on butterfly milkweed in a little savanna. This is a couple hundred yards away. But look at all this field thistle. Some of the biggest field thistle I've ever seen in my life. Just hundreds of blooms here. And the insect life is just going crazy over it. And this isn't even what I came up here for. I came up here for four-leaf milkweed. And I first found butterfly milkweed. And now I'm finding all this field thistle. So this is going to be a long day. I need to get going. So hope you guys enjoyed following along. Be back soon.